Welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a few tweaks that I have installed on my iPhone 5 since I performed the untethered jailbreak. So first in looking at my iPhone here, the theme that I'm running that allows me to have these custom icons in which you see is Aicon. Also in reference to my icons randomly flipping about on my screen, that was achieved with random flip. Now with random flip, there are no settings to configure, no on and off toggle. Once you install it, it is on your device and running. And in order to stop it from running on your device, you would have to remove it. Taking a look down here at my dock, you'll see that I have Byte SMS, which is a SMS client that I use for my messages. I won't click on it because I have a lot of personal information in there at the present moment, but it gives you picture thumbnails for your contacts in addition to a quick compose option and a bunch of other features that you'd probably find useful. So jumping into my settings here, you can see a few other additional tweaks that I have, including Hooks Law, which allows me to speed up my device. So I'm going to open up a few applications so you can kind of gauge how snappy it is right now and how it seems to be moving a bit faster. I mean, to me, the iPhone 5 is fast as is, but with this tweak installed on top of it, it's that much faster. And that is achieved with Hooks Law. Action Board, that gives me a few additional options down here where I can quickly access system, my camera, Jibbler, and compose a message. I also have Activator installed. That way I can activate different things to do from simply a gesture. I also have Aicon, which is the theme that I was mentioning earlier. And I currently do not have barrel on, but to kind of just demonstrate how that is, I'm going to choose a quick setting here, such as icon collection. And as you can see, it gives me a page animation. So when I'm swiping between pages, it gives me an animation, allowing me to kind of change how my icons are reflected when I swipe from screen to screen. And I'm going to just try one more, which is whirl. And it kind of whirls the icons a little bit like that. But that is done with barrel. So jumping back into my settings. I then also have iconoclasm, which allowed me to have this ring layout here. So in reference to get the layout that I currently have, I downloaded, of course, iconoclasm. And then I went into Cydia and I downloaded the Iconoclasm layout pack, which gave me a few additional layouts that you see down here, including ring plus sidebar X and a few other ones. But that way it can kind of get you started within that application. I also have Infinity folders installed where I can put as many icons as I would like into a folder. In addition to that, I have NC settings. Now, NC settings is one of my favorite tweaks because it gives you the option to slide down your notification center and quickly access your Wi-Fi toggle, volume toggle, brightness, orientation lock, and also your data, 3G, your ringer, and just a bunch of other things, turning your location off or on. All that can now be done from within your notification center. So you have quite a few options here and that is achieved with NC settings. Another tweak that you all may enjoy is preference folders. In terms of how this one works, it allows you to make custom folders within settings. So say for instance, you have a bunch of jailbreak tweaks, then what you would wanna do is select new folder, select folder, then edit. And we're just gonna put a few things within there, such as um, a few games I have up here including Angry Grand Run, Best Buy, Cartoonatic, just to show you what I mean. And we're gonna name this folder Test. So I'm gonna select OK, go back into Folders. As you can see, it's now reflected here. Go back once more. And now my Test folder is right here. And if I select on it, the three applications which I placed in here are now there. So it kind of cleans up your settings if you have a bunch of tweaks or apps in which you've downloaded that are all cluttered up in here, then I do encourage you to check out preference folders to kind of clean up that view for yourself. 
So another tweak that I have installed is Winterboard, which allows me to access a few custom things that I may install on my phone. And in addition to that, I also have Zeppelin. With Zeppelin, it allows me to get this little icon up here, which is currently the Apple logo. But you have a bunch of different logos you can choose from, from within Cydia. I just have that one there. But I do have a few that I already installed and some that came standard with Zeppelin. Another tweak worth checking out is photo filter. I already have a picture here that I'm going to demonstrate with. And what you do is you take the photo within your camera roll and beside edit, you'll see an option that says filters. So we're going to tap that. And once you're inside here, you then have Instagram like filters built into the photos application. So just kind of checking out all of them. You can see how it alters the image instantly. So you have some different effects. They don't per se have any names up here, but you can kind of gauge what they'll do. In addition to having the filters there, you also have the option to blur the image and you can adjust the blur radius just as you would on Instagram by sizing it with two fingers. And once you have the image looking in a format in which you like, you can then save it and it's saved to your camera roll. So that sums up everything for the tweaks that I currently have on my iPhone 5. I will be doing more videos with more jailbreak tweaks that are definitely worth checking out. And now I want to hear from all of you. What are your thoughts on this new jailbreak and how has it been working out for you? What tweaks are you enjoying and what do you like or dislike about this new jailbreak? Drop it all down below. I'm ready to read your comments on it and get some conversation flowing. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with others as well as check out my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter page. All at Tech Me Out. And before you leave out of this window, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. <laughs>